Hello, today is Monday, November 27th. My name is Joanna, and also here with me are Noah, Ava, Kenzie, Alora, Naiwani. We are your news team for, for KDWW. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Joanna. Here are some of the announcements from Miss Libby. Next week, December 4th and 5th and 6th, is the Scholastic Book Fair. It will be in the Media Center. There will be so many amazing books to choose from. Look for more information to come, including how to set up an e-wallet. Next Friday, December 8th, is the PTA Glow Dance and Family Fun Night. It's here at Westwood in the gym. Starting at 6.30 p.m., a big wildcat thank you to our amazing PTA for sponsoring this event. It will for sure be a highlight of your weekend. That's all for the announcements. Now it's time for the lunch menu. Here's the lunch menu for this week. Monday is mini corn dogs, baked beans, and dark green salad. On Tuesday will be cheese quesadilla, steamed corn, and black beans with rice and John Pong. For Wednesday, look for mini pancakes with chicken sausage, fresh green peppers, and brownie batter hummus with apples. On Thursday, we will have chicken alfredo with pasta and steamed broccoli. And for Friday is a burger with cheese or fish sandwich with bunions and steamed carrots. Which lunch are you looking forward to this week? I'm looking forward to Friday and for Tuesday. I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to Wednesday because I like the mini pancakes. I'm looking yeah, forward to Wednesday because the mini pancakes. Wednesday because the out. mini pancakes. Wait, mini pancakes. I'm excited for mini pancakes. <laughs> oh, wait, is Wednesday mini pasta? No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday is the pasta. Pasta. Thursday is pasta. Wednesday is mini no, pancakes. The quesadilla. I really like mm-hmm. Now it's time for the weather. Thank you, Laura. At this time we record this, the weather for the last week of November was looking to be pretty quiet and right on target for high temperatures. So hopefully this pans out. High this week should be in mostly the 30s. That's a lot cooler than what we have seen recently. Make sure you are bringing a jacket, gloves, and hat to school. Also, make sure your name is on your winter items, so if you lose anything, you have a better chance of getting it back. Thank you, Kenzie. It's time to check in on our top stories. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Amelia, and here with me is Julie. And today we are going to be asking her a few questions and going on a tour as a janitor after hours. Okay, so Julie, um, why did you want to be a janitor? Uh, well, I like cleaning. I like helping people and making things look nice. And I liked this job because I went here as a kid. I went through kindergarten through fifth grade here as well. Nice. Um, so that kind of answers why did you decide to work at Westwood? Yes. Um, okay. How long have you been a janitor? Uh, here for about a year and a half. Got it. Um, what's something you like to do in your free time? Uh, my husband and I do reenactment events um, for trade areas. So we wear leather skins and live in con- uh, um, 
leather outfits, like old, you predate cowboys and in canvas tents and cook on campfires and just be outside. That's awesome. Now we're gonna come in here. Devin left his garbage cans right there. All right. This is our main maintenance room. This is where all we have the chemicals that we use for, for um, using in the cleaning products and stuff. We've got machines for scrubbing the floor. This guy's what I use for going down through the hallways. Okay, now we're gonna come in here. This is where the garbage dumpsters are. It's really cold in here in the winter. It doesn't stop. Really? This is what I get to do. Put away. That's it. Next up, we have the answer to our trivia question from last week. The question was, how long has Mr. Roberts been at Westwood? I think that he's been here for like 16 years. I want to say 25 years. I want to say 12. I'm going to say I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say 17. Yeah. Here's Mr. Roberts with the answer. So the trivia question this week was, how long have you worked here? Wow, that's a really good question. I had to go back and figure that out. I am working on my eighth year here at Westwood. Uh, I also worked as a head principal in a different district, but before that, I also worked in Bloomington as an assistant principal for three years. So it's my eighth year here at Westwood, mm -hmm. but my 11th year working for Bloomington Public Schools. Oh, nice. Yes. That's very, mm, that's very nice. All right. Did I answer your question? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Take care. Oh, my oh, gosh. gosh. I was so close. I, I was like I seven was off. So close. Just I said in the seven to ten. I said in between 13 to 17. Finally, today is our time for a laugh segment. Remember, the trivia question is to make you think. It's not about searching Google for the answer. It's about talking with your classmates and school staff to figure it out. So let's take a look. Hello, my name is Noah from KDWW. Today we are interviewing Ari from Miss Way's class. What grade? Kindergarten. And Andy. Third grade, Barlow. Today we're asking them um, what their joke is for the competition this week. You can write down one of their names on a piece of paper to see who has the better jo joke. And and then and give it to your teacher. They will send it to Miss Libby and we will collect it up and see who has the best vote. So what's your joke? Where do pencils go on vacation? Where? Pennsylvania. And what's yours? Why did the turkey cross the road? Why? Because it wanted to act like a chicken. That's it for this KWW session. Bye! Hi, I'm Joanna from KDWW, and today here with me are... Leilani. And Ted. And today, Ted is going to be saying the trivia question for this week. How many sinks are in the school? That's all for KDWW. See you next time. That's all for this edition of KEWW. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great week. And also, remember to do things a lot.